devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty toll that is expected. The police gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down his terrorism. Now we the edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of Dead Set. Start warning to the are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technology. Gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden. And now the mandate is extended indefinitely by government. Life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all times. Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated. Possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albums completely wrong. The public found the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet, that terrorist or dead set were framed for the problems, have been roundly rejected. Our reporters could not find a single underground willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think, if anything, DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London, like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downey Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and... Shit. Situation is worse than I thought. Brilliant. 
Let's get the people of London on board. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Okay, sure. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Sure, yes, anything you want. This is amazing. One of Sabine's, are you? I'll see you downstairs later then. So cool. Hello? Anyone? Now, if I was a light switch, I would be... registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Oh, relax. Sabine let me in. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Hello and welcome to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives. 
Now, as you remember, Bloom announced a new version of the Optic at the recent Tone Conference, but we haven't heard too much about that since due to the dramatic events there. Let's cast our minds back and consider the technology. I mean, the Optic changed everything. It lets you see things in AR. You no longer need a smartphone. You just have the small implant that sends signals to your optic nerve and lets you see your emails, take calls, and browse the internet. Ah, that's it. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DeadSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Hey, Bagley. If DeadSec didn't set off those bombs, who did? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DeadSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Bagley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. <gasps> That's terrible! How did you get out of there? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Yeah, so dead sex reputation isn't very good right now. Don't get me wrong, I like to take chances, but this is really risky. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DeadSec kit. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon.